And players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. It's all right. Only took us about ten minutes. <laughs> Alright, so who ends up being Tetris ready first? That is the question. The answer is Seaman, very shortly followed by Eris, but Eris does get the first Tetris. Ah, thank you, Yugi. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if it's the voice or the fact that I've spent like loads of money on a better audio setup. Tetris again for Eris. Both players on the exact same score, but Eris does manage to score another Tetris in the meantime. Simon fires back. Surprisingly, no pushdown points. Simon with the double well, though. Could possibly cause issues. Cor oh, let me correct myself. It did cause an issue. <laughs> Some rather... Uh, Terrible down, down stacking to uh, happen right now. Eris can use that opportunity to get ahead. Alright. Eris again with even more Tetrises, widening the lead by almost 50,000 points. Simon's still trying to sit stack down. He is Tetris ready though. Despite the first few rows being a bit messy. Still waiting on that eyepiece. Unfortunately, it's just not showing. Oh, here it comes. Tetris is Simon. And another one. The lead is less than 30,000 points at this point. Eris playing a little bit more aggressive on the top. Tetris for Eris. Managing to have a really nice stack right now. Potentially on pace for a 400k transition. Seaman managing to get the left side Tetris. The pace is currently in Eris' favour, however. 58 lines in with 200,000 points. Gets another Tetris, 227,000 points. That gap is widening. However, Seaman is... Tetris ready with a really clean stack, Tetris Seaman. Hundred and eighty three thousand points, however Eris fires back with a Tetris, two hundred and forty seven thousand points. And another one. Seaman with yet another double well. A rather nasty eyepiece dependency during this game. It's even finally breaking the 200,000 mark. However, Eris is getting quite close to 300,000 at this point. He is going to have to, uh. He's gonna have to play a little bit more aggressively. Otherwise, he's just not gonna catch up. Chris! Chris, are you there? Yeah. Whoa, 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 Thank God. He's here. He's alive. Oh, whoa. my God. Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. We need you for the bracket. The bracket was... 
Well, the bracket was so messed up, Simon actually thought he wasn't in. So we had to spend about 10 minutes trying to get him back. <laughs> anyway, we we actually have like the second game of the uh, semi-finals going on. Okay, but wow. What the hell happened? Uh, anyway, back, back to the game. We uh, have both players transitioning to level 16 at the same time. However, mm -hmm. Eris is slightly ahead. There we go. Only a few more lines left to go. Seaman could still take this, but Eris is definitely not holding up. Needing an interesting talk. Oh no, the miss drop from Seaman. He tops out 367,000 points to Eris's 420,000. So Eris takes game one. Eris just continuing towards level uh, 19. Okay. It's the wrong sound burning to fry. 454,000 points. Not too bad. Seaman wanting the level 11 start. Eris is ready. Just waiting for the ready for um, Seaman. also ready. So, level 11 game. Players ready in. 3, 2, 1. Tetris. Both players finally have a Tetris. Eris with this... Well, I'd say Eris has a slightly worse stack, but... Seaman has a really nasty eyepiece dependency. However, this is also translating on uh, Eris's side. Here we go. Both players have fixed the dependency. Nice little tuck from Seaman there. Gets the Tetris. Both players on a similar score. However, Seaman is slightly ahead on pace. Another Tetris from both players. Tetris Seaman again. Six lines behind, but only 5,000 points behind. Yet another Tetris from Eris. Starting to widen that gap again. Also widening the gap with lots of pushdown points. Tetris for Seaman. Still gonna have to crank out more Tetris to get back on base ago. nasty little eyepiece dependency on uh, Eris' side. Managing to burn it down with just the right pieces though. Tetris for Eris again. Seaman also waiting for that eyepiece to show up. Oh, 
All right. It's about a... Oh, I was going to say it was a 30,000 pound, pound difference. 30,000 point difference. But uh, Simon's hmm. managing to close the gap again. <laughs> I wish it was a 30,000 pound difference. <laughs> if only money was that easy to obtain. Alright. Seaman finally managing to uh, take the lead and is also behind on lines, which means. Oh, Ares tops out. Which means Seaman takes game two. So, whenever you're ready, Seaman, you can. Uh, Top out, and Eris gets to decide what level we start on next. Also, I have been blessed by strawberry cheesecake. It is actually quite nice. So, both players appear to be ready, or at least I assume that's the case. Alright, players ready in, 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Both players managing to be Tetris ready straight away. Hope he shows up for Eris, Tetris for Eris. Very quickly followed by a Tetris by Simon. Simon takes the lead with 38,000 points. Only just not Tetris ready. Simon gets out yet another Tetris, 57,000 points. Eris flies back, 41,000. Eris fires for another Tetris. Seaman looking for the uh, column 8 well. Fortunately, it's not working out for him, especially with that misdropped O piece. He's in a very nasty situation right now. So Eris is capitalizing on this and taking the lead. Ooh. Seaman tops out with 60,000 points, which means Eris takes game 3. Brother. Early and unfortunate top out. So yeah, Seaman decides what we start on next. Yep, level 11 start. And both players are ready. So, players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris.
a rather interesting stack going on by Arius. Luckily, she man yeah, he managed to uh, sort it out quick enough before it became a problem. It scores off the Tetris just lightning fast compared to Simon's stacking. 18 lines compared to Simon's, well, now 11. However, Simon is currently ahead of pace. But it's still definitely anyone's game right now. Definitely, uh, that's it. We've definitely currently got Simon ahead of pace. But Eris is also, that's it, ahead on points. So all it takes is a rather nasty situation from Simon and he could actually lose the entire match. Rock Queen from Seaman there. Harry's playing rather high but manages to get double Tetris. If only there was just one more Mino. That could have been three Tetrises in a row. <laughs> Who is Seaman? That, that's his way to pronounce his name, I think. Pers personally, I would default to Simon, but different countries and stuff. Anyway, Eris pulling off more and more Tetrises, just widening that gap even further. However, there is also a 22 line difference. So, Seaman is still ahead on pace. So Eris may need to watch out on that. Surprisingly enough, this gap is actually starting to shorten, despite the difference in lines being still the same. Oh, Tetris by Eris, left side Tetris. Eris is slowly co closing in on a uh, 30 line difference. Seaman is now Tetris ready again. Eris burning a tea to become Tetris ready. In a rather interesting predicament though. Managing to get the Tetris. Jagged stack is mostly solved. Tetris for Eris again. Managing to keep that steady 30k difference. However, Eris has now transitioned 257,000 points. Well, Seaman could very easily top that. <coughs> A little bit of clean up on uh, Seaman's side. Three hundred K points from Eris. A 
hopefully we can see a lovely 400k score by 15 for one of these players. Eris getting into a little bit of a predicament here. Getting quite the spire on the left hand side. Luckily it is the left hand side. So it shouldn't cause too much of a problem. Although Eris' stack is in an incredible mess though. Seaman ready to transition. 266,000 points, beating Eris' transition. Eris just looking for the burns, miss drops. This is not the height you want to be miss dropping on. Ooh, and Eris tops out with 340,000 points. Seaman just slowly catching up again. But yeah, what I was on about earlier about the whole tortoise and the hare thing, it's definitely showing. 35,000. Not much left to go for Simon. And scores the triple. Just a few more points. And there we have it. Simon takes game four. We are in yet another deciding game. So whenever Simon's ready, he can uh, top out. Yep, there we go. Eris with the level 15. Simon, are you ready? Alright, both players are ready, so... Close ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. The final game for a place into the finals against Yanni. Some would consider it to be an honour. Others would dread the opportunity. Though anyway, both players currently equal. However, personally I would say Seaman's stack is slightly cleaner, although he has just put himself into an eyepiece dependency. And is now deciding to burn. So Eris can use this opportunity to uh, get ahead. Tetris Seaman. Eris' stack looking interesting to say the least. <laughs> Seaman going for the triple. Burning and now has enough lines to be Tetris ready. And he goes for it. Tetris for Seaman. Managing to unclog his little hole.
Aeris slowly managing to get on base. Purvis Eamon is now widening the gap. Manages to unclog his hole. Deciding to go for the left side well. Though this is starting to cause problems, there is no eyepiece to be found. However, triple into a Tetris fixes everything. Except the O-piece comes along to ruin it all. Eris still hoping to clean out her well. Still a little bit of a rough patch. There we go. Eris is now Tetris ready yet again. As is Seaman. Tetris Raris. Tetris Seaman. Tetris Raris. Just going back and back. <coughs> yeah, but Eris is definitely going to have to uh, step up his pace. Usually I end up looking at the games and say Eris plays just a little bit too aggressively and like here I am now saying Eris plays to play more aggressively. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing like a nearly 60k difference now. Eris currently being ahead of lines, but behind on score. Seaman giving himself a dependency again. However, opts to clean it out. And gets a Tetris. Now he's back on a low stack. Eris, on the other hand, still having to clean up. Manages to get a Tetris in the meantime. That gap is shortening a little bit, but not much. Transition so I'm 243,000 points. However, having a lot of holes down on the bottom means there's a lot of inefficient line players happening. There we go, all of the holes dealt with. Seaman managing to free up his well, but the hole on the right isn't going to do anything. There we go, see him making himself Tetris ready. But has a misdrop. This could become problematic. Eris tops out 284,000 points, however. Which means Seaman heads off to the finals against Gianni. Aris did actually get quite close to uh, coming back on multiple occasions, but 
it just couldn't it, that's it. He just couldn't break through. <coughs> yeah. Is the bracket alive? The bracket is alive. That means I can actually head over to the bracket.